are you? Let's go. I gotta set this up first. Welcome back everyone, I'm Tony Fries with Uncommon Realty. If you want to know what it's like to live, work, and play in New Braunfels, Texas, and anywhere in between Austin and San Antonio, good news. I try to do that every week with these videos. Although I know it's been a few weeks since my last episode, I've, I've been extremely busy. So thank you to all the patriots reaching out to me. It's a good problem to have. Now, a couple of nights ago, the beautiful and historic Brontex Theater in downtown New Braunfels brought back the Tribute Concert after a long COVID hiatus. We love going to these things, along with other musical events. From time to time, they get local Texas artists from here in Austin and elsewhere to put together sets of legendary bands. We've experienced Jimi Hendrix, the Rolling Stones, the Carpenters. Who else? Tom Petty. Tom Petty. You get the picture. Now, before COVID, they announced ZZ Top, and we signed up only to have the thing postponed. And of course, while waiting, the real bass player for ZZ Top, the great Dusty Hill, recently passed away. So we were excited to see what the Reed Brothers had to offer the other night when they announced this thing was ready to come back. What a great time. They were terrific. And the Brontex was terrific, as usual. I must say that the crowd was a little different than the first experience I had with the real ZZ Top back in 1976, but I've come to realize that many of these folks that come to these classic rock shows are probably the same exact people, just a little older. And we all probably appreciate that the Brontex tribute shows are over at 9 p.m. Well, afterwards, some of us heard the music next door at the Poor House, that's P-O-U-R. So we went over for a nightcap and that inspired me to make this video. So that was Thursday night, and while the poorhouse rocks out with live music seven nights a week, there are several other bars downtown that may or may not be quite as lively during the week, so Suze and I decided to go back tonight, Saturday night, and check some of them out. We're taking you with us. Now we're not big drinkers, so we're probably just gonna share a shiner beer here and there, plus we're driving, you're not, so feel free to knock them back. Before we head out, let me ask you to consider subscribing to my channel. It's free, and it's a big help. It tells the robots at YouTube that people actually find this stuff useful. And if the robots see folks like you subscribing, liking, commenting, and hitting the notification bell for this video, well, they'll recommend it to others. Now, I'm gonna go change my shirt. About time. And then let's head downtown, what do you say? So the main drag is San Antonio Street, and our first stop is the Downtown Social at 386 West San Antonio. They're closed Monday and Tuesday, but open late other nights. They got a large bar, TV screens, a full service menu and dining room area, comfortable sofas, and, well, social areas that can be reserved for larger gatherings. There's also games, ping pong, shuffleboard, and a couple of bowling alleys, which can also be reserved. Sunday is fun day and all that stuff is free, but I understand the reservations for the bowling lanes on Sundays are booked up a couple of weeks in advance. The downtown social is 21 and up after 9.30 p.m. So until then, bring the kiddos, have dinner, and bowl a few games. It means what? <laughs> the poor. <laughs> the aforementioned poorhouse patio bar is pet friendly and located next door to the downtown social at 343 West San Antonio. They're open until 1 a.m. on Saturday and midnight every other night. It's an indoor and outdoor bar with daily drink specials and live music seven nights a week. No wonder the Poor House was voted the best bar in New Braunfels. You can find locals playing cornhole, giant Jenga, or just relaxing in the courtyard and listening to some great music while enjoying great cocktails or cold beers from an impressive beer selection. If you get hungry, just have them make up a couple of tacos for you. Let's cross the street over to 283 West San Antonio Street and pop in at the fairly new 
Lone Star Lounge. It's already gained the reputation of the premier martini slash craft cocktail bar downtown. Check out these menus. I'll leave them up for a second. The Lone Star Lounge is open from noon until 1 a.m. on Saturday and 4 to midnight every other night. It's a nice looking bar with a great bartender. Back to the other side of the street now to Moonshine and Ale. They open at 4 p.m. and close at 1 a.m. on Saturdays and midnight every other night. The logo says patio bar, shot bar, and piano bar, but I think they're really well known for their live band karaoke, which is a ton of fun. Tonight, they've got some kind of sing-along night thing going. Okay, we're not really jaywalking back and forth across San Antonio Street. I'm just presenting them to you west to east. And by the way, there's a couple of good spots off the main road, but we're not covering them in this video. So, back across the street, we're checking out Scores Sports Bar and Grill. They've been here since 2004. It's big, with a full menu and lots of screens, big and bigger, like you would imagine a good sports bar would have. Tonight, UT was trouncing Rice 52 to nothing in the third quarter. You won't find a bad seat in the house to watch your favorite sporting event here. Their hours are 11.30 a.m. to midnight with happy hour starting when they open until 6 p.m. Up a bit we come to the historic Phoenix Saloon. Originally established in 1871, the Phoenix Saloon was the first bar in Texas to serve women. It had a beer garden with a bell in a tree for service as it would besmirch a lady's reputation to enter the bar. Back in the day, they had an alligator pit and badger fights with live music on Saturday nights and a parrot on a perch inside the front door that was taught to ask, have you paid your bill? In 1894, the owner invented chili powder. This picture was taken before Prohibition closed the saloon in 1918, though for a couple more years, the basement served as an illicit brewery with tunnels cut to run the drink out under the streets of downtown. In 1922, the building became a department store with little change for the next several decades. In 2010, after two years of restoration, the Phoenix rose again as an historic Texas bar, chili parlor, and live music venue. The hours for the Phoenix are kind of all over the place, so here they are. Another historic stop founded in the 1800s when New Braunfels was first settled is a place on the circle called the Black Whale Pub. Here's the German translation, which I will not pronounce. That was the name on the door of this pub. Later, still in the 1800s, the saloon was moved and the Herald, which was the first English newspaper of New Braunfels, was established in this location. Now the Herald eventually moved out and at some point merged with another paper, the Zeitung, but what's important tonight, of course, is that in 2007, the modern-day Black Whale opened its doors, and it's a fine little place with a cozy patio in the back. We're at the Black Whale. <laughs> the Black Whale Pub. Black Whale. Somebody. Somebody. Happy birthday to those people over there. Happy birthday, my friend. Ah, thank you. Happy birthday.
So it's a different day. We uh, were at the sidecar, and it was, it, was, it was booked, it was crowded, and you had to have reservations on a Saturday night. So uh, we, we did this on Tuesday, and we're gonna splice it in. We're splicing it in. And here we are. Here we are. Let's get to this. Check it out. Beautiful place. Nice place to, Cheers. to have a date. Cheers. This is a, a sidecar. We're at the sidecar and you're having the sidecar? where they have the radio show. They used to have it at Tavern on the Green, but they don't have it there anymore. So now they have it at Sandown Social, and they have all these people come in, and they talk about songwriting, and then sing some songs. It's like two hours long. It's great. <laughs> Much better. She was she was going off. It was going to take an hour. And we don't have enough videotape yet. I thought we were having a nice discussion over drinks. Morning. Hey, you want one of these? All right, that was a pretty good time last night, huh? And topping it off with those tacos from Jack in the Box. I know everyone's feeling great this morning, right? Listen, if you want to know more about what it's like to actually live in this area, I want to hear all about it. But of course, you got to reach out. Call, text, email, days, nights, weekends. We'll see you in the next one. Or you'll see me. Thanks for watching. <laughs>